for your welcome to be with you this day. This is a powerful passage of scripture about our oneness in Christ. It really begins on uh, in chapter in uh, verse eight to ten with our personal relationship with Jesus. You see, it must be a decision that we make to receive Jesus into our hearts. He has died for our sins. And He loves us. And so we need to receive Him. It must begin there, one on one, us with Jesus. But once we are in Christ, we are no longer alone. We are part of the body of Christ. It's no longer just uh, us, but God has created us for good works, for the things He has for us to do. But it doesn't stop there. It's not just me and Jesus, me and Jesus. No, no. It starts with me and Jesus. But he invites us to be part of the whole body of Christ. One. In verse 12, Paul reminds us that we once were foreigners, aliens. We were outsiders. Not part of Christ's love. He says we were without hope and without Christ. And we must never forget that that's where we were one time. Because you see, once you become a part of something, like a part of this wonderful choir, or the children's choir, or our uh, other choirs, then you begin to think it's just us. But you see, it's more than just your choir. It's more than just the youth choir or the um, memory choir. Because there are all of those who are not part of the choir. And we're still one. So we're invited to remember always that we were one side, once outside the group. But now we are part of the body of Christ. How is that possible? Once aliens and now one? We know more about the outsiders and those who are outside than we know about being one sometimes. 
hari uburyo tuzi abantu baho zarabo hanze baho zarabanyamahanga no buryo dushobora kongera guhura tugafatanya all we have to do is think about our Rwandan history and we understand that reka dutekereze uyu dutekereze kwa mateka yacu nk'abanyarwanda ushobora kubyumva and how do those who were once enemies become one again ese urugero ni ko tabantu bahoze bangana boje bakaba umwe is that possible ese byo birashoboka yes the answer is yes yesu zo ni yego Verse 14 tells us he Christ himself is our peace. It is much more than just lack of conflict when we talk about peace with Christ. Jesus gives us a special kind of peace. Yesu na mahoro yumi hariko in John 14 verse 27 He says peace I live, leave with you my peace I give to you not as the world gives peace do I give it to you Haravuga ngo mbasije amahoro amahoro yanje ndeba hayo icyakora simba ngo ko bisibatanga how is that peace different? We see it in Galatians 3.28 where he says that Christ has made the two of us one. There is neither Jew nor Gentile no, neither slave nor free. Nor is there fee nor female nor male. For we are all one in Christ. Christ has made peace with us and enables us to have peace with one another. How does that happen? The Rwandan government has very, very strongly made laws that say, Uma Rwandan, we are Rwandans. And that is good. But laws don't change our hearts. Christ changes our hearts. And we hear that again in this passage. He has destroyed the dividing walls that separate us. Now the question is, what kind of walls separate us? Let me just name a few. Fear separates us from one another. We are fearful because we don't know the other person. Or maybe we're fearful because of what we have heard about the other person. As I was coming here, um, we were driving through a village and the little children were calling, Muzungu, Muzungu, Muzungu. They saw me as different. They don't know who I am. So they're a little afraid. You see, we're afraid of what we don't know. What's the other wall? Another wall is jealousy. We see what others have and we wish we had it. 
we see what they have and what we don't have. And so a wall is jealousy. Sometimes the wall that we build is anger. Past hurts that have caused us great pain. And we can name them and we don't let go of them. We remember the hurts of the past. And they build up walls. And my friends, that happens in families more than any place else. We are afraid because of the hurts of the past. Sometimes those walls are insensitivity, not seeing what the other's needs are. And that causes hurt. And sometimes it's insecurity. Uncertain about where we belong and how we're accepted. My friends, these are the emotions and these are the pasts that each one of us brings to the church today. Yet Christ wants to break down those walls. He wants to cause those things that divide us to be destroyed. Because he wants to build something new. He wants to create in himself a new person, making two one. To do away with the old nature and to give us a new one. So that even though I don't know you well, we can be one. I don't know you, but we can be one. He says, consequently, we're no longer strangers, no longer outsiders. We are fellow citizens in the body of Christ. More than that, he's building a future for us. A whole new structure. He uses the image of a building. And Christ is the cornerstone. Now, when we build a building, we start with laying out land, and then we put one stone in the corner. And that stone is the one that governs what the building will look like. And every other stone is built on that stone. So we have the cornerstone, and then more stones, and more stones, and more stones. Until we have a building as big and this. And, Jesus, and what Paul is saying is that Jesus is our cornerstone. And each one of us is needed to make this building. No, 
Christ is building his kingdom with each one of us. And what happens if one of those stones in this wall says, I don't want to be in this building? Or what happens if one of us takes one of those stones and cuts it out and pulls it away? We know what happens. The building begins to collapse. It's no longer strong. It cannot stand. So each of us is, is important in the building God is building. We are becoming the dwelling place for God. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. If that's true, and I believe it is, then we need to ask ourselves some serious questions. Who is the one that we see as the alien, the foreigner, the outsider? We know them. But the next question is, can we see them as belonging to Christ? As part of the body of Christ. Because that's what Christ wants. What's the dividing wall, or what are the dividing walls that Christ needs to break down in our thoughts and in our feelings? I mean some, but you have others, I'm sure. What are the dividing walls Christ needs to break down? Who is Jesus calling you to be reconciled with? to see as your brother or your sister in Christ. If we are believers in Christ, we are called to be one in Christ. He is our peace. And he has broken down all the dividing walls. The question is, will we live in that reality? Will we live as forgiven people who are forgiving? Will we live as one in Christ? That's the call of Christ to us today. May we answer it. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen.